everybody. My name's Nasty Mold, and the season of nesting is finally here. Our newest season in Sky. Can't wait to tell you all about it. In this video, we're going to go over all of the new seasonal stuff. I'll also explain what exactly a season pass is, how to get seasonal currency, and how to get the most out of the season. So first up, we have our season guide here. Even if you're in the old home space, they'll show up, and they'll provide us with some furniture that we can check out. The event itself is taking place in the Apiary Village, where we have a brand new furniture shop. The season of nesting has begun. In Aviary Village, explore a new workshop full of cozy decorations. And furnish a nest of your own. Little apartment building for us. There are new quests to complete and seasonal candles to collect. Go meet the nesting guide. Okay. So, first up, we're going to go over what exactly a season pass is, because it's kind of the main focus of the season. Now, you can fully experience the season for absolutely free. By that, I mean you can do all of the seasonal quests, you can unlock a lot of items. There's also a ton of items for free players. But, like most games that feature a season pass, having a season pass will let you experience and unlock a lot more of the items. So you can see here that immediately after purchasing a season pass, you get the Pendant of Nesting, which is like a little necklace you can wear, and 30 seasonal candles. You also get access to an additional seasonal candle every single day upon login, and additional rewards. Now eventually spirits from this season will return in the future in about two or so years, um, and they'll be traveling spirits, so you can obtain their limited items. However, there are additional rewards called ultimate rewards, and those are exclusive to only during the season with the season pass. So those are very limited. You can, of course, purchase a season pass for just yourself or a gift pack, which has one for yourself and two passes to gift to friends. You'll find seasonal spirits to learn their stories, give seasonal candles to the spirits to unlock basic rewards. And for this season, they're not very humanoid. In fact, the spirits this season are showrooms in the furniture shop. Seasonal spirits and their stories can take various forms, so sometimes, like this says, they're not necessarily humanoid. Season pass owners get an additional reward with each unlock. These items are marked with the season symbol, and we'll delve into that a little more later on when I show you how you can get seasonal hearts. But essentially, there are some items that are for everyone, and then some that are for season pass holders. You can preview basic and additional rewards in your closet before deciding whether to purchase the season pass. After a season ends, its spirits have a chance to return every two weeks for a brief time in home. And that's what I mean by they'll eventually return as traveling spirits if you don't have the season pass, so you can eventually get most of the items anyways, but they'll usually be a lot more pricey. While they are in home, unlock the rewards with regular candles or regular hearts, but these are much more costly than unlocking items during their season. So I'm going to unlock the season pass for just myself. And what that means is immediately I am gifted the season pass, a necklace, this pendant here, and 30 seasonal candles to kick off the season so I can start unlocking some items. Now I'm going to explain to you the seasonal currency and how we can unlock it in the game. So starting with the seasonal candles, if you have purchased the season pass, you should have access to one here every single day at reset. If you are in the aviary village, instead of the classic home, it will appear here. These are the exact same candle, you don't get two, only one. And it will appear every single day at 12 a.m. Pacific time. Another way to earn seasonal candles is by going to any of these quest shrines. So every single day we have four daily quests to complete. After we complete them and turn them in, we should be given four seasonal candles. And the final way is by finding four candle bundles hidden throughout a realm. So this is usually the realm in which the daily quests are taking place. There'll be four of these bundles and each one will give us 25% of the wax needed to forge a season candle. If you're having trouble finding these little candle bundles, I'll have daily quest videos every single day and I'll show you where we can find the seasonal candles. Collect all four of these bundles and we get one seasonal candle every day. And finally, we have seasonal hearts. Now, these are a season pass exclusive currency. We can get them from any of the seasonal spirits. They're at the very top of their constellation. 
So seasonal hearts are actually not easy to get at all. You have to collect a lot of seasonal candles and then start unlocking all of these items beforehand. So you can see here we have this little two-tier rack for 16 seasonal candles. I'm gonna buy that. And then that has unlocked a random blessing for 20 seasonal candles. I'm gonna unlock that. And then that has shown a little herb rack for 26 seasonal candles. I'm gonna unlock that. And then we have one more blessing for 30 seasonal candles. And then you can see at the very top, we have our seasonal heart. And that is for three seasonal candles. So that is an exclusive item. You'll notice any of these items here that have the season pass logo next to them. Those are season exclusives. Everything on the left hand side will eventually return when this spirit comes back as a traveling spirit. But the hearts are absolutely exclusive to the season. They'll only be available during the season and they're used to unlock ultimate rewards. So I'm gonna grab these season pass items right now. You'll notice that you can only unlock them once you have purchased the node connected to it first. So I can't unlock this little pencil thing without first unlocking that uh, blessing at the very top. And then at the very tippy top, the last item I have available is the seasonal heart, which once again is a season pass exclusive item. Every single one of these spirits has one seasonal heart and they're always at the very top. So that means that overall we only have four seasonal hearts in total, one from each of these spirits. And these can only be spent over here with the season guide because the season guide has ultimate rewards on the right hand side there. So we have the pendant, which we already have from purchasing the season pass. We have their outfit, which they're wearing. You can get a good look at it. And they have this little Sky Kid figurine. So these are items that will never return to the game. They're only available during the season with the season pass. And they cost the seasonal hearts. So before we go into all of the new seasonal cosmetics and items, I think we should do a little tour of the new buildings within the Aviary Village. First up, of course, we have our brand new furniture shop. This is where we're able to buy a majority of our new items. We can get our seasonal stuff here as well. It's very cute from outside. And on the inside, it's pretty big. Look at it. So over on the left side here is where we have our seasonal spirits. Uh, we'll go into greater detail about each of these spirits in a little bit. But for now, you can see what every single spirit has. It's interesting. They're more like showrooms than spirits for this season. Over on the back wall where the door was, we have four items on display. We have like a shelving unit here, a big rug. Over here we have a bath and what seems to be like a stove for a kitchen. So these are the items that the furniture shop will sell for the week. And you can actually try them out before you buy them, of course. This one has some candles. We can light them. We can also actually sit down in the bath. Kind of cute. Now these stone furniture items, these are all permanent, so they'll always be available in the game. They just rotate every week, so you might not see them for a little while. You can buy them over here at this little blueprint table. And a majority of the items come in multiples, so you buy it once and then you get maybe four chairs for your shared space or for your nest. Over here we have the uh, workshop board. So there are a few quests we can do on each of these boards. And completing all the quests will eventually allow us to unlock some pretty cool items. And these items are also permanent that we can get through this board. Um, these quests are pretty difficult. They're not really meant to be done in one day. They're meant to be done over the course of a week or a month or however long it takes you. But here's a look at some of these quests. This is one I haven't done yet. Uh, for this quest here, I have to obtain 15 props from the nesting workshop. And obviously the props are pretty expensive, so I don't have that one quite yet. Each of these three quest trees have a unique item at the very top. This one is really cool. It's a closet that you can carry around with you. So you could place it anywhere in any of the realms like a normal prop and you'll have access to your closet. Your friends can use it as well, so it's very, very handy. It won't be available immediately once the season begins, but once it is available, it will be a permanent item. It's not going to go anywhere. However, it is a very expensive item. The last price I've seen it for is 180 Ascended Candles in the beta. It might be different in the live version, but I would say that that's likely going to be the price it will be. In the nesting challenges here, we have a mannequin at the very top. This one's pretty cool. And I'll show you what all of these items do when we go back to my nest later on. So the mannequin will allow you to put clothes on it. 
and kind of just set it up to look cool within your nest or a shared space. You can't do a whole lot with it otherwise. It's kind of like a way to showcase maybe your best outfit or something like that. And this one is 99 ascended candles. This one at the very top here with the nesting challenges for friends is an instrument stand. And this one is 66 ascended candles. All of these items are pretty hard to unlock. There's a lot of difficult quests to do beforehand. But bear in mind, these are more like collectible items. They're not something that you have to have. They're just collector's items and uh, they're meant to take a while to unlock, not just over the course of a single day. Now let's head over to my nest. We'll do another little tour and I'll show you what these new props do. And it's also worth bearing in mind that this apartment building or nest won't be open immediately when the season starts. It does open with our second seasonal quest. So this is my nest for now and it is a bit of a work in progress. This is the foyer where you can see I have my outfit closet. So I don't actually have this item because you can see I did not finish the quest and unlock it yet. But when you do have it, it looks exactly like this on your back. Just a little wardrobe on your back. And we can use it just like a closet, go to any of the drawers, open them up, and we can check out the masks, the hairstyles, the outfits, the props, absolutely everything. So that is a really cool item, and I think a lot of players are going to want to save for that one because it's super handy. This right here is the instrument stand with the ocarina on it. I'm going to go change my instrument really quick so we can play something down. At the moment, I do think it's unfinished. Um, I can't see this being a finished state for it, but I'll show you what it does. It doesn't work super well because once I leave, the instrument just defaults back to this ocarina. But I can place my instrument here, and I can also play it. I think it's just meant to display whatever instrument of your choice you like to play the most, whether it be guitar or whatever but I don't think it's finished quite yet. And then here we have a mannequin prop. So you can see that it is wearing a cape, a neck accessory, a hairstyle, and a hair accessory. It cannot wear a mask, mask accessory, outfit, or shoes. So it is missing some cosmetics that I had on when I put this down. And unfortunately, we can't interact with this mannequin to put the outfit on. That is all it is. It's just a way to decorate and have an outfit of your choosing around your home. So those are the three workshop items that you can get from completing the nesting challenges. Now we're going to take a look at all of the new seasonal items coming during the season of nesting, and this will include the furniture items. So here we have the outfit, and this is one of our three ultimate rewards. I actually think they did a very good job with this. I love the color scheme. I love that it's kind of like this muted blue underneath, this long tunic, and of course, the super cute carpentry apron over top. Our next cosmetic is the pendant of nesting, which is this really cute key pendant that has like a house shape at the very top. This is available as soon as you purchase the season pass and is another ultimate reward. I'm gonna wear this key around my neck and pretend that I'm Cardcaptor Sakura. Don't tell. For the hairstyle, we have this here, and it's giving me Isabel from Animal Crossing for some reason. I feel like I should jingle as I walk. It's got this very tufted, messy back, and the side parts just look like dog ears to me. I can't help but think it. It's cute though. They've also got some messy, side-swept bangs. We also have a new hair accessory this season, which is simply just a little pencil tucked behind your ear. Hard at work making blueprints. This is what it looks like with no hair. And then I'm gonna try it on with some of the base game hairstyles just for fun. Poking out of a moth hair, moth hair. Well, there's a lot of moth hairs. Just gonna try it with a few. I kind of like how vibrant and big it is. I don't know, it's so simple, but it's also kind of cute, isn't it? And I love that when you have a hairstyle that the ear is poking out of, you can actually see it poke behind the ear. And then we have the cape for this season, which I adore. I don't know what it is. I think it might be the muted blue and the orange. It's just reminding me of Season of Flight in the best way, the color scheme. And I really love the simple embroidery, both on the underside and the top side of this cape. I like it. Now, because this is a very furniture-inspired season, we obviously have a lot of new furniture. 
And for the season pass specifically, it's very wooden themed. So very foresty and cute. There's obviously a lot of new furniture added, but we are gonna specifically go over the new seasonal furniture. In the prop closet, they have added a new tab. So we first have our instrument tab. That's where we have all of our instruments and helpful things like umbrellas and the cameras, things that you'd actually use as you go through the realms. In the second tab, it's more furniture items. So chairs, tables, shelving, beds, things like that. And then in the third tab, it's more like miscellaneous items. We have our plushies and we have our wall decorations and things like that. So I'm gonna go in order with all of the new season items, starting with what looks like a bed. So it's funny that we can actually have all of these on our back. I think this would be pretty cute to place down in the hidden forest while you're flying around, just chilling in the trees on your little wooden fairy bed. We then have a little chair, kind of looks like an acorn to me. And don't worry, we'll take a closer look and interact with these items in a little bit. We then have this big wooden stump table. I really love this and it has a pot of plant in the middle. A little wooden sofa, two spots to sit with your friend. This is like a hanging lamp, but it kind of looks like a, like a feather duster on my back. Looks kind of funny. And then we have a bathtub, which once again looks kind of funny on your back, but hey, carry a bathtub if you want to. This is my favorite item to carry. It's actually a lamp but it's like a stick with lights on it. Carrying it makes me look like a little pixie, so I've been wearing it with the Aurora wings. I genuinely think they look really cute together. We have a potted plant, which is hanging from the back of your head, maybe from your hair when you're wearing hair. In the more miscellaneous section, we have, oh, this little two-tier rack. It has some jars and a towel on it. We then have some picture frames, which looks funny on your back. It has the uh, big rock from home, a cloud, and a manta. We also have the big portrait. This one's actually pretty cool as it has some lore to it and also it looks like it sparkles. That's neat. Um, if you zoom in, we can see the season guide with the forest elder and we can assume that they might be the forest elder's apprentice. Pretty cool. This next one I love having on my back as well. It's a rack of herbs and pots and pans, but I feel like I'm a traveling herbalist or something. This is like a floor lamp. This is our last ultimate reward. This one is really cool and I'll show you what it does in better lighting. Oh, and this is not a new season item. It's a permanent item that is the instrument holder that I showed you earlier in my shared space. All right, now let's check out what these items look like up close and personal in the furniture shop. All right, so each of these displays are split up by which spirit carries which items, and we can actually interact with the items here so you can see what they do. This is the tub, the wooden tub, and you can see it has a special pose when you sit in it. Very cozy, little jacuzzi in the middle of the woods. Pretty funny. Behind us, we have that big portrait with the forest elder and the season guide. Above us here, we have a hanging planter. And then we can also interact with the teacups at the table here. Delicious. I'll go over which items are season pass exclusive and free once we go through all of these items first. So this is one of our spirits here. Now onto our next showroom, which is right behind us. This spirit will bring us the wooden bed, which has a really cool shape. It kind of looks like the uh, season of flight shape in some way. As we lay here, you can see it has a special laid down emote as well. This little tree branch is also a light. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm toggling it as I fly. And then this spirit or showroom has this set of three little pictures on the wall too. Cute. For our next showroom, this one has the floor lamp here which we can toggle on and off they also have this little acorn chair and the ceiling lamp and then for our final little showroom slash spirit this one has the two-player couch so you can sit on both sides comfy but without these little cushions would it be as comfy uh, we also have the two-tier rack and then on the back here, we have this spice wrap. 
So those are the three items available from the spirit, or the three furniture items. We'll also go over the cosmetics and everything else they have. Let me really quickly show you what this ultimate reward does though. This is the final ultimate reward from the event guide. It's not letting me place it down. Let me put it over here. There we go. So what it does is it puts down a little model of myself. And what this means is I can put this in my nest or my shared space or whatever. It'll wear whatever cosmetics you currently have on. And it wears everything from your shoes up to your hair accessories. So absolutely everything. And then this is toggleable. So you can toggle this and wear what the figure is wearing at any time. Your friends can also toggle it, but they'll only be able to wear items that they actually own. And I can show you more about this in a little bit. You can actually put spells on it that you don't own, but unfortunately you won't be able to wear those if you do not own them. Um, let's go over what all of the spirits carry and what is a season pass item and what is not. So we're going to check out all of these little showcases here. Here's our first one, the nesting solarium. So once again, everything with that season pass logo is a season pass exclusive item. However, all of the items on the left will eventually return when these come back as traveling spirits. So they're exclusive during the season, but they will eventually come back. They will, however, take a couple years and they'll be very expensive. So first up um, from the nesting solarium, we have that big elder portrait with a season guide. That is a season pass item. We then have the hanging planter. That is an item for everyone. We then have the big bathtub here and the hollowed out trunk. That's a season pass item. And then we have the dining table trunk here, which is for everyone. Now, I actually think this is a really good mix of what is free and what is paid because I think I prefer the free items for this one. Um, the bath is cool, but honestly, if I had to choose, I think I prefer this one here. Obviously, that's definitely up to personal choice, but yeah. I think the trunk looks a little weird. It's more like a jacuzzi or something. And then from these next spirits or showcases, we actually have some cosmetics. So this is the nesting loft here. Oh, and it looks like the items are kind of more mixed up than what they are placed in the showcase. So from the nesting loft, we have the bed for season pass holders. We have the little acorn chair for everyone. Yeah, see, I thought the acorn chair was on the other spirit. Um, after that, season pass holders get the cape. And then we have the set of three little picture frames for the wall available for everyone. So those are the items from the nesting loft. Pretty cute. And then over here, we have the... Why is the camera angle moving like this? The nesting atrium. At the very bottom, we have the floor lamp, which is free for everyone. This one here kind of looks like a candle, but it is that uh, hanging lamp. The hairstyle is available for everyone. And then the little light up branch is a season pass item. I don't know why it keeps turning like that. Maybe because I'm on the other side? Maybe. Oh, now we're looking at this couch. Hmm. Weird. Over in this spirit here, this is the nesting nook. And they have the two-tiered little wooden thing for everyone. They then have the big couch for season pass holders. This is my favorite item and I'm happy that it's free. It is the little herb rack that is available for everyone. And then they have the little pencil hair accessory for season pass holders. And once again, at the very top of all of these spirits is a seasonal heart. And now those are season exclusive and they are used to unlock the ultimate rewards, which will not be returning. We can get the ultimate rewards from the nesting guide here. The outfit is two seasonal hearts. And then we can get the figurine for another two seasonal hearts. And I'll put it down one more time so you can see what it looks like. And you know what? Let's go back to my nest and I'll actually show you the limitations of this figure. So like I said, we can't wear items that we don't own. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's head back to the nest. I'll put it down. And uh, hopefully that will be a good enough explanation because I think the way I'm explaining it, it's a little confusing. Go to my nest. Up we go. I'm going to place down this figure. Where should I put it? Maybe next to the closet so I can change. And let me figure out what cosmetics I want to wear. Hang on. All right, so I do not own any of these cosmetics and I'll explain what they are. So on my head, this is a hair accessory from the anniversary event. It's a little balloon jellyfish. There is no way to actually own this item. 
And then I have the cinema roll hairstyle on and the cinema roll cape. So I do not own any of these items. They are not in my closet whatsoever. Let me place, oh, I can't place it down. Hang on, I'm gonna have to edit my house. Do da do da do da do. Edit my house. Remove this one. And then I'll put it over by the closet here because I think it'll be easier to change my clothes. Okay, place that down. And you can see it looks like a little mini version of me even though I don't own these cosmetics. Which is pretty cool, that means we could make maybe a little exclusive action figure using spells. I'm gonna just make sure I save that there. Now let's change the cosmetics that I have on. So I think I'm gonna change my dress, my shoes, and my neck accessory, okay? First I'm gonna take off these spells. There we go, that's what I look like without them. I'm gonna change my dress, my shoes, and my neck accessory. Where is the outfits? There it is. Outfits, I'll put on something very different. Oh, shoes, I'll put on the big Aurora sneakers, and the neck accessory is not in there, it's not in there, it's, there it is. Put on that. So you can see I'm wearing a very, very different outfit. Um. I'm gonna try and put these clothes on now that the mannequin has on. And the spell items that I don't own will not be able to be put on me. So let's try it out. We're just gonna tap that button. Wear the outfit on display, yes. There we go. So you can see that my outfit has changed to the one on the mannequin, but of course it did not let me wear that hair accessory, the cape or the hairstyle. And that's because I don't actually own those items, but I do own everything else. So that's the way the mannequin works, um, and it works that way if your friends use it as well. Your friends will only wear the cosmetics they actually own. But this is cool because it means you can make little exclusive action figures. You can make maybe an Aurora using the Aurora spells. You could also make a little prince or something. Just make something cool, exclusive, something that you can't usually wear, and decorate your home with it. And I think that's a pretty cool idea. I wish we could have more, but unfortunately we can only put down one. And that is absolutely everything we know so far about the season of nesting. Of course, there are some more quests that we can do in the future. We haven't seen them all in the beta, so I wonder if there'll be more changes that happen within our nest as the season progresses. But for now, this is what we know. That's how we can get all of the seasonal currency, where we unlock the seasonal items, and what they all do. Pretty cool. Now, as always, if there are more changes to the season in the beta, I will be sure to have some videos up to let you guys know. You can check them out. I also really do want to make a video about all of the other furniture. I know I didn't showcase any of the stone furniture, but that's just because I don't own it all. And I also don't have the pricing for all of it yet. But once I do have the pricing, I'll be sure to have a full guide on all this furniture and how much it costs. But for now, that is absolutely everything about the season of nesting. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.